Hey, good morning, Missy. Hi. How are you feeling today? Feeling okay. Okay. Another day. Where are you from? New York. New York? Mm -hmm. How long have you been out here in Philadelphia? A little less than three years. All right, all right. Yeah. What you like better, New York or Philly? Neither. Neither? <laughs> Both um, bad? Okay. Here is terrible. Yeah. 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 Tell me about yourself. How was your childhood? I grew up in a uh, upper middle class, I would say, uh, Long Island. Long, okay, Long Island? Yeah. Um, All right. You know, parents made good money. Um, yeah, parents aren't addicts. Um, I'm like the black sheep in my family, so. Black sheep? I didn't know anything about Kensington when I came here, that's for sure. I thought I was walking into a movie scene when I came here. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, it get like that sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, what drugs are you addicted to currently? Dope and hard. Dope and hard? How was you introduced to the dope and hard? Um, I mean, I was dabbling in New York, um, but when I came out here, it's a whole different playing field. I actually had um, three years clean. From yeah. Um, uh, I'm an alcoholic. Six years in recovery from that. Um, okay. I had three years fully sober. Didn't even smoke cigarettes. And then um, somebody introduced me to dope one night at a weeknight, and mm -hmm. um, I sniffed a little bit, and my life has crumbled since. <laughs> so when you sniffed some of the dope, were you uh, intoxicated from the alcohol? No, I was sober. You were sober? For three years. Okay, so. Yeah, I was relapsing on harder drugs. Which on was, harder drugs. Which doesn't make any sense. Um, I didn't actually touch dope or hard until I was 29. I'll be 32 next week. You'll be 32 next week? Mm -hmm. Okay, any birthday plans? No. No? <laughs> Surviving this place, that's for sure. <laughs> if you could describe Kensington, how will you describe Kensington? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Your worst nightmare? Yeah. Don't come here. Don't come here. So, I was hearing that you said that you're like the black sheep of your family, right? Is there any family members that's still there for you? That got love for you no matter what condition you're in? Not really. Not really? No? Is most of your family is most of your family in New York? All my family's in me. Yeah, I don't okay. have any friends, family, nothing out here. So how did you find Kensington, Philadelphia? Well, I actually came out here to go to rehab. And wow. And in rehab, they were bragging about Kensington, and I was intrigued. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was like this, though. And, right. Um, I hopped out of the person that was transferring me to another rehab, hopped out of the car, and took off. Mm. And I came here with my bags, nowhere to go. And um, within a day, I had somewhere to stay. And then unfortunately, I went back to New York and got my husband and brought him back with me. And okay, so your husband's from New York as well. Yeah, and um, I, I blame myself for sure. Because it's really How do you fund your habit? Anything that I can. Okay. Like panhandling? Anything. Anything from degrading yourself to anything illegal, stealing, whatever. Right. Anything. Do you do dates, work the Ave at all? Yeah. How do your husband feel about that? It sucks. It sucks. Do you argue from times because of it or? All yeah. Time. That's why we really want you to get clean. You shouldn't be out here degrading yourself. It's scary too, it's dangerous. It is, I was almost killed. Um, I've been through it all pretty much. Right. Um, Very emotional right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's deep, it's not easy. You know? He was my best friend when we fell in love and we were so happy and it just destroyed us. Yeah. We're still best friends, which is- Right. Destroyed us individually, I think. Do you want to get clean? Do you want to get out of this mess? What was your jobs like? What jobs did you have before you started using heavy? Like I just graduated right before I came here with a psych major. Um, a psych major? Um, my skill set is in management, mm -hmm. executive assistant, personal assistant. Um, I've done everything on my bartending license. Um, wow. I've so you was really a hustler and you was book smart. Yeah. That was working well, you are book smart. And, and in school full time. And, um, you have a lot of potential. You just got to kick the devil's drug. That's all. Uh, that's all you have to do. I know it ain't easy. It's easier said than done, but I'm rooting for you. I think it's just, 
Because being sick is the scariest thing. Yeah, being sick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think just the physical addiction is 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 the worst. Mm-hmm. Is, is the worst thing I've ever experienced, and I'm terrified of it. How can you describe being sick? How was the feeling? Um, the closest thing to death. Wow. Being sick. To, That's yeah, the only thing. Yeah. Sad, you, know? um, you don't deal with no. You, know? you don't deal with no methadone clinics and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. boxings. No. No, I do get suboxone, but I sell it. Okay. Yeah. Why you rather sell that than you know? And take it. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a good question. Because I need the money. Right. And I'd rather sell it than have to go out and get a date. Yeah. So are you currently homeless right now? No, you got somewhere to, somewhere to stay. That's great. That's great. Not happy there, but that's where to stay. At least you got somewhere to stay. You're not outside in these streets. I know it's scary at night, right? Yeah, and I'm out here pretty much all night, every night. So I'm seeing everything. Just two weeks ago, I seen some kid get shot in the head right in front of me. It's just, yeah. It's crazy the things that you see and the things you experience. Right. You get robbed all the time. People get beat for no reason. Just get beat, robbed. It's really and dangerous then, out here. Guys out here don't care if you're a female. They don't? No, I've been beat up by more men in the last two years out here than in my whole 31 years of life. How many times have you been beat up in the last two years? Uh, if you could say. Five or six. Five or six times? Yeah. And for honestly nothing of my, like, like that I deserve it. <laughs> Not that any woman really does. But. Right. Yeah. It's ridiculous. How much can you say you make a day doing your dates and stuff? Um, I can make up to a few hundred. A few hundred? Yeah. A day? Yeah. And it all goes to drugs? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, every dollar pretty much goes to drugs. I mean, I eat, but bare minimum, I pretty much live off like ice cream and pizza. So if you have money, but only enough for one thing, either food or drugs, which one would you pick? Drugs? Okay. Oh, yeah, that go a tissue for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's some of the craziest things you've seen out here in Kensington? Uh, I mean, people getting beat up for no reason, robbed. Um, I mean, constantly, and nobody does anything about it. Right. There'll be a group of people just watching and just turn their heads. Um, and then the things that I've experienced during dates, I mean, you never know who you're gonna get in the car. Can you explain one experience? Experimental yeah. time doing dates, just one. Uh, um, yeah, um, I got in the car with a 19 year old, mm -hmm. uh, and my intuition was screaming to get out. Something about him seemed very violent. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as he parked, I went to get out, and I wasn't robbing him or anything. Um, excuse me. <laughs> You're good. Um, I went to get out of the car, and I had half of my body out of the out of the front seat, and he grabbed me by my throat. Dragged me into the back of the minivan in, in like a split second. He wow. Me up from the front seat and I was in the back. He was on top of me, uh, punching me in the face over and over. I brought him to the front and I was going to hold on the horn. As soon as I got to the steering wheel, I was able to touch it with my fingertips and he wrapped his legs around me and he put me in a chokehold. Um, I had probably like five or six more seconds of consciousness um, mm -hmm. and voluntarily pissed myself. I was dying. Was wow. Of, um, and the whole time he was telling me that he was going to rape and kill me. Um, He's going to rape so, and kill you? Yeah. Oh my um, gosh. The only way that I got out of it was he was drunk. And, yeah. And um, for me, fighting him made him sick. So he started to throw up and I think he felt vulnerable at, at that point. And he opened up the door for me um, to leave. Um, and I was too scared to get the license plate because I was scared he had a gun and he was going to kill me. Right. For getting left. Right. Um, that was the scariest experience. And then I found out that he did that to quite a few other girls, but not as violent. And he's only 19. So. A 19 year old serial rapist. Braces. With braces. In his mom's minivan. In his mom's what? Minivan. Wow. Be careful out here, guys. Girls that's working, please be careful. Get off these streets, y'all. It's not safe about it. It's not safe about it. So, are you religious at all? No. Not Spiritual, at all. Spiritual. I was, you know, definitely intact when I was sober, but it's gone. Where do you see yourself in six months? I don't know. I can't even 
and see myself tomorrow. I've been really struggling lately. Okay. Do you have any kids? I do. How many? I two. Two? Okay. How's your relationship with them? I don't have one. I haven't seen my daughter. Are they old enough to know what's going on? My eight-year-old daughter? Yes. Knows. Um, I'm not sure what she knows, but I haven't seen her in almost three years. And my um, my son is a little over one. Okay. Okay. My mom has him, and um, she refuses to update me or send me pictures, so I don't even know what right. he looks like. So, I, uh, that's some motivation right there. So, get clean for yourself. Get clean for your husband. Get clean for your kids, you know? It's scary that they're not enough. That's yeah. the scariest part. The scariest thing. Scariest thing, and when they get older, it's gonna be harder. It's gonna be harder for them to forgive, you know, for you uh, not being there and stuff, being absent in their lives. So I want to thank you for your time, your courage, your honesty to tell your story today. I know it wasn't easy; it was very emotional. Or oh, maybe you could save somebody's life if they're watching this. But God bless. We rooting for you, All Time Media.